Timely first response and evacuation by the Bureau of Fire Protection personnel kept a dangerous leak of a hazardous gas from wreaking even greater damage to lives and property last night at a Navota storage facility. Our Rod Lagusa narrates the huge challenges of shutting down the valve that caused the ammonia gas leak and putting out the mini blaze thereafter to include withstanding the overpowering toxic fumes that penetrated the responders' PPEs, among others, in this report. An ammonia leak from a cold storage facility in Navota City last night resulted in the hospitalization of more than 20 people. Based on the latest report from Navota's DRMO, all of them were discharged from the hospital. DRMO also reported the death of a 16-year-old male who experienced shortness of breath due to ammonia inhalation. There are about 23 patients who are in the hospital, 11 sa from the medical center, 12 sa Navota City Hospital. Tapos merong reported na dinala sa MCU, ito yung uh, may pre-existing condition na namatay sa hospital. City Health ang mag-iimbestiga po. May direct relationship yung pagkamatay dun sa ammonia leak. He added that no statement yet was released by City Health officials. For the part of the Bureau of Fire Protection, when they received the report that there was ammonia leak, they responded immediately but they had difficulty closing the source of the leak due to the high pressure. Habang hinahawakan nila yung valve, papunta sa kanila yung ammonia. So the PPE na ginagamit nila yung aming uh, bunker coat uh, is not enough to protect them. Kasi pag diretso sa uh, balat, so nagkukos ng extreme discomfort. So sabi ko, uh, labas muna, labas muna, mag-iisip tayo kung ano mas magandang gawin. De Los Reyes said that their personnel were leaving the facility when an explosion which resulted to a fire occurred. He said that there was an accumulation of pressure that caused the explosion. When the fire broke out in the facility, BAP began evacuating residents living in the area, including the family of Arnel and his granddaughter, Micaela. Naglabas ang tao. Ngayon, pati ako, pati pamilya ko, Pinalikas na namin, no? Lahat ko may naglikas na papunta sa Tipor. Talaga po ang lakas po ng amoy. Sobra. Talagang napakasakit sa mata, talagang lumulo. Ang dami po. Personally, um, yung una ko pong naramdaman is naninikip yung dibdib ko. Parang mahirap huminga. Bakit parang nahihirapan ako magsalita na nun? Na nung lumabas na kami, yun na, masakit sa mata, nagluluwa na yung mata namin. Simultaneously, aside from firefighting, technical teams of BFP closed the valve where the leak came from. It took two hours before the authorities allowed residents to return to their homes. It was nearly 2 o'clock in the morning when it was declared fire out which reached third alarm. We still have to investigate the cause of bucket nung nagkaroon ng leakage. But of course, nagkaroon siya ng leakage perhaps because there's a breach dun sa piping system na, uh, na meron sila. So that we still have to determine. Our investigators are into it. Uh, they're still investigating and uh, fight, trying to finalize. There's still ammonia trace in the facility which remains dangerous. Due to the incident, the involved cold storage facility was temporarily closed. Rod Lagu said, for the nation.